Hello friends, this is Manoj Goel, one of the co-founder of the Wall Street School. Over a decade and so, we have trained more than 12,000 candidates in our flagship investment banking and financial modeling program. Thanks for your overwhelming response to our previous video on the basic Excel shortcuts. Based on your feedback and demand, we have created another video on the basic Excel shortcuts. This video would be in continuation of the previous one, as this is one critical skill set which candidates need to learn. So, if you find this video insightful, do share this with your friends and colleagues. Stay tuned for more content based videos from Postrick. Let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 of the video on series of basic excel for finance. Before watching this video, in case you have not as yet, I will encourage you to watch the part 1 of the video of basic excel. Uh, the link of the same has been shared in the description box below. In the previous video, we focused on some basic excel shortcuts. In this video, we will focus on how some of the most commonly functions of Excel are used. So how it works is friends, you are supposed to download the file. The link of the same is there in the description box. Watch it. Do it on your own system. Pause it. Watch it. And do it again. So let's start and continue building on the previous set of learnings. So I'm going to discuss with you about the filter and the sort function in Excel. So what happens is uh, I use a filter function in case I want to filter a specific set of data. Yeah, I want to see a specific data uh, out of the voluminous amount of data that I have. For example, over here, I see this data and I want to see, I want to put in certain filters with respect to my data. So the shortcuts for applying a filter in Excel, it's Alt, plus D plus F plus F Alt D F F so what I do is I have this data here and you see the headings are going down headings are going down you cannot see this you cannot see the headings because if, if I if I drag it down it goes down but I want to see the headings which should remain intact for me so very similar to this shortcut I can free spins I can freeze the pins and how do I freeze the pins is I want this headings to remain intact for me. So I put my cursor here. I said Alt W plus F plus F. I'll be able to freeze the pins here. So I said Alt W F F. Here you go. So what happens is this part, the headings are blocked and I'm able to freeze this pin here. I go down so if at all I scroll down I see the headings over here because this is blocked now now coming back to the filters so what I want is suppose I want to see I want to see a specific department here so let's apply the filters here I go to the headings control shift right I select the entire array of the headings and I said alt D F if I apply the filters so this drop down sort of menu pops up and I'm able to put it now suppose I want to see the department I want there are separate departments here I want to see specifically the admin department here so how I do that is without using the mouse I just scroll use the arrow keys and reach the department here and I said alt and down arrow alt and down arrow this pops up uh, this this window pops up over here so i go down 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 over here and i want to deselect everything so i use this space bar i use the space bar i'm able to deselect everything and suppose i just want to see the admin department here so i go down and i just again put the space bar so space bar is for deselecting as well as for selecting anything and I just do an enter here, it will show me all the admin departments here. Okay, suppose I want to see admin of specifically for East. So I go to region, I repeat the process which I just did for you. Alt and down arrow key, able to open this up. 
I can use the down arrow key and I am over here. I press the space bar. I specifically need admin of east and I again press the space bar corresponding to east and I do an OK here. Consciously, I have not used the mouse as yet. So I have admin of east here. So here you go. So I'm able to filter out the data specifically for admin and east. Now suppose I want admin and sales of east. So I go to the department here, alt down arrow. I want to see admin and sales of east. So I go here, I reach the sales part. I use the space bar, select the sales, take on the sales, do an OK. Here you go. It gives me admin and sales of east. So here I get this data here. Suppose I need admin of east and sales of west. Admin of east and sales of west. Let you pause this video. Do it on your own. So admin of east and I need sales of west. So I use the I go to the region. I use the alt key and the down arrow. It opens up for me. Consciously I have not used the mouse at all so far. So I need sales of west. So I click on west here and I do the space bar and I do an enter. It gives me admin of east sales of east. I do not need sales of east. I only need sales of west and admin of east. But it's giving me sales of east. It gives me admin of west. I don't need admin of west. Now this is wrong. I need admin of east sales of west and let me let me uh, add more spice to it. I also need marketing of south so if at all i also need marketing of south i go to department here and i also need marketing of south i press the space bar i do an enter here and in the region i alt and down arrow key and marketing of south and i do an okay here this gives me marketing of East, sales of admin of East, sales of East. I do not need this. I specifically wanted admin of East, sales of West and marketing of South. Now here you go. Now this is the limitation of the use of filters. The filters is not giving me the data which I was specifically looking for. And you understand there is a limitation with the use of filters. To negate this, what we use is something called advanced filters. Let's learn how to use advanced filters. So advanced filters comes under this tab, under data, filters, advanced filters, this tab over here. In case you have done the first session with me on basic Excel shortcuts, you would now be able to connect the shortcuts. So the shortcut is Alt and then A and then Q. So remember the shortcut Alt A Q for putting advanced filters. So I'll, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. First of all, for putting advanced filters, let us remove the filters. The shortcuts for removing the filters, the same as the same one for applying the filters. Alt D F F. So the filters are removed. Now let's insert certain rows here. I said control shift plus control shift plus and I'm able to insert certain rows. So insert say four or five rows here, just like I have done using control shift plus these shortcuts I had taught you in the first video on basic Excel shortcuts. So select the headings, copy the headings over here and paste it. On the sheet here. Now, whatever is your criteria, mention that. Suppose in in our case, the example that we were taking, I wanted admin. The region was east. I wanted sales and west. And there, so on. There could be more permutations and combinations as the case may be. Admin of east, sales of west. But for for, for the purpose of this video, let's let's keep it to these two ones. So the shortcuts that we have just added, it's Alt and A and Q. Alt A Q. So Alt A Q will give you this list range 
and the criteria range. So in the list range, your original list comes. This original list, the entire array in which the original complete data was there. So copy the part, control shift right, control shift down. Here you go, control shift right, control shift down. I've been able to select this entire array. And in your criteria range, you select the headings and then your criteria along with your headings and taking your headings are important otherwise it won't work you do an okay here see the magic so admin of east sales of west exactly what i wanted as a filter so that's it is negating the limitations of using just the filters this advanced filter okay now similarly i also want to teach you about sorting of the data as to how do we sort the data so i remove the filters again the same shortcuts for removing the advanced filters also alt d f f alt d f f and try having more permutations and combinations when you're trying to solve this okay so let's 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 uh, i've just taught you filters Let, let's let's now discuss how to use sorting of the data so shortcuts for sorting of the data and i've so far taught you most of the shortcuts using alt key it's alt plus d plus s alt data sort here you go so i'm removing removing the filters here alt dff i've removed the filters now i want to sort this data suppose i want to sort this data in ascending order of the last name I want to sort this data in ascending order of the last name. So I select this range here, control shift right, control shift down, alt D S, data sort. I said sort by what? I said sort by the last name, cell values. I said A to Z because I want it in ascending order of the last name. And I do an OK here. Now this data is sorted in ascending order of the last name. Suppose I wanted to sort this in descending order of the first name, Alt D S, and I want first name and cell values, and I want uh, you know Z to A. So Z to A, this will sort this data in descending order of the first name. Okay, so ascending order or the descending order. So ascending order is A to Z, descending order is Z to A. Let's move to the next exercise. This uh, worksheet named arranging. Now on this sheet here, I'm given the financial data of a particular company. Here, this is the financial data given for different years, like for 2011 data, 2010 data, 2009 data. And if at all I have to make a robust analysis, it makes more sense that I have 2005 data over here, I have 2006 data here, I have 2007 data here, because that, that will make my analysis a little more robust and easy and convenient for me. So think how, in case I were to ask you to do it, how would you do it? You would have done it something like this. Cut this, bring it here, cut this, bring it here cut this bring it here the desi jugar that we are all very 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 pally with but because we are learning a bit of excel let's learn something which is more refined so i go back to the original data i did a control z control z to go back to what i had earlier done you know to to undo the actions that i had done control z here so uh, what i do is i select just this numerical data just this numerical data of a here and I do the same sorting of the data, the same sorting, the shortcut was Alt plus D plus S. So Alt D S, sort pops, pops up for me. I go to the options here. In the options, I said, instead of top to bottom, let's sort left to right. Not top to bottom, but left to right. And I do an OK here and now see this. Now, just stay with me, just concentrate here. I said sort by, 
I said sort by the fourth row. So this is the fourth row. Cell values. Now instead of largest to smallest, let you sort this smallest or largest. Here you go like this. So just see this fourth row, left to right sorting. Instead of smallest, instead of largest or smallest, let you sort it smallest or largest. Do an okay here. See the magic. Small, small things in Excel, you know, we are not even aware of, but it, that makes our work like really, really simple. Okay, so what we have learned is we can sort the data top to bottom. We can also sort the data left to right. Try that. So what we have learned, guys, in this video is we have learned filters. There was a limitation with the use of filters. So we use advanced filters. We have learned how to sort the data. The data can be sorted top to bottom. The data can be sorted left to right. So th this is it for this video. In case you have found it useful, do share with your friends and your colleagues. Thanks for watching.